Founded in 1541, Santiago has been the capital city of Chile since colonial times. Our first task is to pack our camper into a container, after which we have a few days to relax and explore this modern city of 5 million people. We also visit Villa Grimaldi. It is a very emotional and moving experience since it tells the story of the many people who were interrogated, tortured and killed at this location by the Chilean secret police during the Pinochet dictatorship. After some quiet reflection on man's inhumanity to man, we return to the hustle and bustle of Santiago and sample its famous terremoto drink as well as its local cuisine. Finally the time arrives when we have to leave for the airport to catch our Air Canada flight back to Calgary. After uh, 17 months on the road, 63,000 kilometers, tons and tons of stuff, flying out of Santiago and then on to Calgary. It takes us almost the same amount of hours to fly back to Calgary as the months that it took us to drive the same distance. Looks like easy streets to navigate. You get a truck through them. We are very excited about seeing our grandchildren after such a long time away, more so than they appear to be on seeing us again. Minus 16 outside. 50% and, uh, and what? 50% improvement. 50% improvement over the minus, minus 30 that we had a few days ago. So we scheduled our move for today. And this is part of the re entry settling back in deal. And we're moving into our new house, which is very exciting. Before we left on our trip, we put a whole bunch of stuff that we wanted to keep and a bunch of junk into a storage locker. And I can remember when I uh, closed the door, I wondered when we would see that again. And so here it's a year and a half later, and we're going to open the uh, Pandora's box and see what's inside. Because in that building are all our worldly, worldly goods. <laughs> So we started to unpack, and boy, do we have a lot of junk. First, <laughs> survived 17 months on the road, comes home and nearly amputates her finger. The container with our camper in it got lost on the high seas for three weeks. You can't possibly track an import container. I get, uh, the last update was November the 16th, which is ridiculous. So here she is, uh, happy to see her, a little damaged, but not too bad. They did something to the roof, you can see how they've, the corners are split. And uh, they damaged most of the light panels and that could have happened in the shipping. Take care, safe journey back. Thank you very much. 
on the North Coast inland, a rain and snowfall warning, a bit of snow around Stewart today. I've decided to come the Fraser Canyon route rather than the Coquihalla Highway. The bad roads have claimed a victim here. This has been our happy home for the last 17 months. It has enabled us to see and experience so much for which we are extremely grateful. This journey has changed us forever. In return home, our lives enriched, our minds expanded, our love for each other enhanced, and as best friends.